Chapter 12 Sayer realizes the sword is binding him to this world. Steros calls Shun a failure, a thing neither god nor human. He notices the chains are keeping the sword in the ground. Steros talks about class consciousness and how the rules of man are the same for gods. If you are born as an inferior deity, you will suffer this disparity for eternity. You will be treated like an animal and constantly despised. You will only play servants. The lifespan of a god knows no end, which means that for a god considered to be inferior, the whole world is an eternal hell. So you must show me respect. You, a man who does not even have a gold cloth. Shun says the worth of a human and that of a saint cannot be measured by his appearance. Seiya. I don't have a goat cloth. My body is heading toward death. I am no longer a goat saint. Despite everything, it is not the cloth that makes the saint. Pegasus Raishukan. I am a saint of Athena, the goddess of war. Saint Seiya. That's it. Sadly, does not look like Shun will have a big role in the story or any other character besides Seiya and the gods for that matter. But we will be getting more classic Seiya surpassing the gods goodness. We also got some background on the life of lesser deities or at the very least deformed. Clearly this character while entertaining is clearly just there for exposition. Not sure if he's gone because we only saw his astral or physical projection being destroyed. We will see in the next chapter. Till then, please remember to like, sub, and hit the bell.